Welcome! This video shows you how Magaya Software helps you create consolidated ocean export shipments when you are selling the space in the container to your customers. We will see how the Magaya Consolidation Wizard creates the master, houses, and all the documentation quickly. In Magaya, you can create shipments in many different ways. For example, you can go to Quotations and create a shipment. You can also go to Bookings and create a shipment. Or you can go to Magaya's Trip Schedules and create consolidations. For this video, imagine you are shipping a full container with the shipping line and selling the space in the container. By using the Ocean Shipment Consolidation Wizard, all the information you enter will be automatically saved on your shipment documents under the Master and Houses. This video shows you how the Ocean Export Consolidation Wizard walks you through the steps of creating a less than container load shipment, or LCL for short, with a master and as many houses as needed. The wizards for air and ground LTL shipments work the same way. Let's start by clicking Ocean Consolidation Wizard Export. The wizard has many different screens, so we'll go through each one individually. The first one is called the General Information Screen, which is the information that's going to fill on your master shipment. Your shipment name, also known as your file number, automatically comes from your configuration in the system, but you can change it. This bill of lading number is your master bill of lading number. The booking number here is the steamship line number. You have executed information, which is where it was created, by whom, and the date. You also have an estimated departure date and arrival time, and you can change them using the calendar. You can enter your declared value for the shipment and a description of goods for the master. Rather than typing the description of goods for the master, you can click this button here, which is your clause list, and you can recall any information that you like. The settings button here has many different options. Most of them pertain to the shipment documents. For example, if you want your bill of lading to show more or less detail, you just click on this button here. You also have measurement units. Once you're done with the general information screen, just click next, and you'll be taken to the entity screen for the master. On the master, the shipper and the forwarding agent are usually the same party, which is normally you. The ultimate consignee is normally the destination agent, and you can enter the destination agent down here as well. If you have notified parties or intermediate consignees on the master, you can enter them here if you'd like. These ellipsis buttons allow you to change the address for each entity if you like. Let's go ahead and click Next, and the next screen is the routing information screen. This screen allows me to select the route for the entire shipment, which populates through all the different houses. I'll go through each and every one of these fields so you have an understanding of what they are. The service type allows you to enter doors and ports. We'll enter a door-to-door -door for this example. The route field allows me to select a pre-configured route which has all my doors, ports, and rates. We'll go ahead and do this one manually. The mode of transportation can be selected. In this case, we're going to select the one that I created previously called Vessel LCL. I then have three sections here. Origin, which is the information for the door at origin. Export, which is the port of origin information, and destination, which includes the port and door at destination. Here's my point of origin or FTZ number, who does my pre-carriage, for example, trucking company, my place of receipt by pre-carrier, which is my door, the loading pier terminal, my port of loading, which is the port at origin, exporting carrier, my steamship line, the vessel name, and voyage ID. Then I have my port at destination, who does the trucking at destination, let's say it's the steamship line, and the final door. Once I'm done, I hit next, and I'm taken to the master document screen. I can select any documents I like, or as you can see, I already have a few of them checked off. This is done by going to the shipment documents configuration in the system. Let's go ahead and click next, and this screen allows me to select all the commodities for the houses. I can select by warehouse receipt, pickup order, inventory, or I can even scan the warehouse receipt and pick up order numbers if I have them printed out. Let's go ahead and select two warehouse receipts with different consignees. I have many different options here. The most important is how I'm going to create the houses. I can group them by warehouse receipt or by other options, such as consignee, one for online sales customer and one for consignee of Tokyo. If we want to create additional houses, we can put a number here and create as many additional houses as we like. Let's go ahead and click next. And in this screen, it's asking me to repack. What this is actually doing is creating a single container on the master shipment. Since we're going to be shipping an entire container on the master, we'll go ahead and click yes, click the repack button, and select the container type. If I know the container number at this time, I can put that there, as well as a seal. We can choose to put the entire weight of the container here, or we can allow the sum of the commodities within the houses to total the weight of this container by clicking this button, add the weight of the contained pieces. Let's go ahead and do that and hit OK, and then proceed. 
Now on this screen, I'm asked to select all the documents for the houses. Since I have my shipment documents configuration already set up, my bill of lading is already selected. Now we'll click next and select the folder to put the shipment in. Proper file organization is very important in order to keep all your shipment files nice and neat and allow the system to be more efficient in looking for your shipments. Let's go ahead and put this shipment in July 2017. We'll go ahead and click next and on the final screen we have a summary of everything we did. When we're done we click on finish and now the shipment is created. Let's go ahead and take a quick look on the left hand side. The highlighted icon is my master file and all the documents on top are my master documents. Underneath my master is each house, 1006 and 1007, each with its own bill of lading. It's important not to jump too quickly to see the documents because we'll need to review all the shipment screens first in order to ensure the documents have all the information you need. So we're going to walk through a three-step process in order to ensure all the information is on your documents. The first thing that you want to do is review all the cargo on the shipment. First, go to each house and ensure all of the commodity information is correct. Then you can go to the master and make sure your container is correct. Second, you want to go to each house and make sure all of the charges are correct. Then go to the master and make sure all the charges on the master are correct as well. And then lastly, review each tab on the master and houses to make sure all the information is on your documents. Notice that most of the information that's filled on the master automatically populates onto the houses. Once you're done with those three steps, go ahead and take a look at any document that you like. We'll go ahead and zoom into this bill of lading so you can see more details. As you can see, the shipment has many different options. Once you're done, you can email any document you like to your customers, or you can print them. If you want to print all the documents at once, just select the master, go to print, and select print batch. This also works for the houses. So what you would need to do in that case is just select the houses and click print batch. The nice thing about the batch printing wizard is that each document will print on its pre-configured printer with copies for the different entities involved, such as each house's shipper and consignee. The types of copies are defined in the document properties when using the document designer. Be sure to check out the knowledge base for step-by-step -step articles you can print or email to help you use the software fully. Thanks for watching.